pathologist Sam Ryan's back on our screens tonight in a new series of Silent Witness. Another few weeks of bodies, baddies and Burton. When I was newly qualified, I dealt with a murder. A woman's boyfriend said he found her dead at the foot of their stairs. Everyone knew this couple fought like cat and dog. I interpreted some bruising as coming from a struggle and the defence tore a large hole in my evidence and he walked free. Ross, who was the DS in the case, took it as a sign of personal incompetence on my part. Was it? I don't think so. Okay, I was inexperienced, but I knew what I was talking about. I just presented it badly. When was this? Years ago. All right, update him. Tell him what a big success you are now. Take him to dinner. Absolutely not. Wear a little black dress. You wear one? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, nice to see you nice again. Nice to see you. Hi. Um, Sam, I think Sam's, she's in this new series, she's getting a bit, she's lightening up slightly, is she? Mm -hmm. She's sort of getting a bit more involved and she's got a new romance. Yes, well, yes, she has. I mean, it, she's not quite sure whether it's going to be a romance at the beginning because she's been there before right. with this guy. So uh, it's, yeah. uh, it's quite a tricky one for so her she's, to decide. She's, she's become a bit softer. I think, I mean, probably in terms of her personal life, yes, mm. but yeah. in, in work situations, no. I mean, she's still, no. she's still very sort of tunnel vision on her work. She's, but she was always soft underneath, wasn't she, really? <laughs> does does she? it has to be? Is this what it has to be, though? I mean, does every leading <laughs> woman have I see to every be hard, soft underneath? Every hard shell has to have a soft yeah, interior, not necessarily. Know, not necessarily. But, yeah. but it's nice the, to explore it. Yeah, do you read the um, Case Garpetta novels by... Uh, I do, yes. Do you, do you I think that's what them? fired my imagination with uh, really? you know, wanting to come out and, uh, and to do this series. Because Kay's pretty tough, isn't oh, she, Oh, she is, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. quirky. Yeah. I wonder what it is. I mean, we all know why we watch medical dramas and, you know, detective dramas, etc., and action dramas. I wonder what it is about mortuaries that, that <laughs> you know, that basically, I mean, you know, we're, all of us are going to end up one day on the old slab. Oh, I know. It's I know. awful, isn't it? It's a horrible thought. <laughs> about it, but anyway. It's a horrible thought. We, we don't think we don't want to think about that on St. Valentine's Day. No, we day, spend our lives in denial of the, the, this, this very So why do you think fact. we enjoy them? As you're right, as a society, we deny death all the time, don't we? And yet we love seeing bodies cut up. Mm. Do you think it's because it's it's a new area because we're yes. so used to the Probably, the doctor yes. practice the the yeah. casualty wards and, and the police and investigation police investigation now yeah. sort of the world of the pathologist is yeah. opened up maybe yeah. people are just quite fascinated I think people have that macabre kind of interest there yeah, like do, people slowing down well I'm macabrely interested in how you got the research for the for the part I mean I presume you've gone mm. along to some of these PMs have you I did autumn? initially Richard yes um, mm. before the first series yes was it as gruesome it was... and as horrible as I would expect it um, to be? it's it's not horrible because it's such a fascinating world and also um, you, you take comfort in it's it's done so professionally mm. that um, you know that they're finding out huge things there and they're giving a rite of passage so that the people who are left, the, the loved ones, you yeah. know, will find out what's happened to their, you know, the person who's, who's dead. So mm. it's, it's very valuable. You must have a strong stomach. I, I, I don't Quite think strong, I could... yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You'd, you'd mm. made a good, a good pathologist in real life. No, 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 no. I wouldn't want to be a pathologist in real life. Yeah. Yeah. I think everybody still remembers you from Brookside, don't they? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. I, bet, I bet you still get loads of people coming up to you in the street. Uh, yes, I mean, a lot of people, yeah. you know, even though it's such a long time How long ago. How is it now? Since I went into it in 1982, so, yeah. you know, for four years. Yeah. So. You um, loved it as well, didn't you? I did, I did love it, because it yeah. was, you know, it was a fantastic break for me. And was that, that your first big break, really? It was, yeah. yes. And I'd is that where you met your, your, your husband, Sven? Yes, that's, that's right. right. He came up to take some photographs, and I was sitting in a window oh, yes. with. Because oh, he is. Wow. A, wow, he's a celebrity <laughs> photographer. Oh, we, yes. he's, he's, pho he's taking photographs. Well, so he's very, he's lovely. He's very good looking mm. too, isn't yes, he? He's somewhere over there. I don't remember that, Julie. I don't remember that in particular. Yeah, he did. How good looking he was. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just you must have been taking photographs. Listen, yesterday she fell in love with Mark Owen. <laughs> oh, I mean, oh really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, I did. I still, I still have. <laughs> <laughs> No, um, so right, so Sven, you, this is a distinct advantage having a, mm. a, pro a professional photographer for a husband. Yes, it can be. Yeah, well, I think. Uh, well, does he better? Does he take all your photos? No, all your I mean, I, I don't have an exclusive contract with him, but yeah. uh, I think sometimes it's it's just very easy and very relaxed to work with him um, mm. if we've got a quick shoot to do. So yeah. I'd rather yeah. work with someone that I know. Yeah. Well, we've Obviously. got some of his work. Yeah, he's got a couple of the photographs. Got a couple, of, couple of pictures. Have a Recent ones that he's taken of you. That's look at nice. That. Right. Just it's a look really at nice picture. Lighting on that. Yeah. Yes, Beautiful. it's all down to lighting. No, no, I don't <laughs> mean it like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> Are you holding a torch there? Holding, no, I think uh, I might carry candles. Oh, look at that. And that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Are those studio shots? Or are they taken at home? Yes, no, they're studios. It must be strange being photographed in that way by your husband. 
I can't, I can't, I can't quite imagine it. Can you imagine being photographed by, by me like By that? you? In what, <laughs> in what way, Richard? I don't know, because, we, because it's... The relationship is with the camera, isn't it? I mean, when you're, yes. when you're, when you're posing as an actress, when you're posing for, for mm -hmm. pictures, you're relating to the camera and you're oh, and, and not so. the photographer, you know, mm -hmm. however, you know, sort of emollient they may yeah. be. But obviously, it's your husband behind it. So yeah, but you're I think you can switch off from that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. Uh, that was John Turow. John, in the kitchen. a little discipline, Dropping please. Dropping the utensils <laughs> A little studio discipline. Sorry. Yeah. Doing a sensitive interview here. <laughs> Don't put us on. So how so. long, does, um, how long does, th does this go on for, this new series? This goes on for eight hours, so it's it's an eight-week oh, run. Eight, yeah. oh, God, I thought you meant it was like uh, <laughs> Kenneth Branagh's Hamlet, <laughs> which, is, right. which is running four yeah, hours, four apparently. Hours. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, do you think you'll do more? Are you, are you enjoy playing the character? Yes, I think. Well, we're we're in pre-production for a third series at the mm -hmm. moment, so we we'll start shooting that in July. Mm. And she, yes, I mean, she's a very interesting character to play. Mm. Mm. So um, yeah, I think there's a good another good series there. Yes. Well, you, mm. Go on, Jude. I was just going to say, and then what? I mean, what? Mm. I mean, it's a shame about. Because Broadside is, is so great. I mean, it's a shame mm. that you can't just dip in and out, isn't it? I mean, there's, there's no what, to dip in, a, to, dip in to get, get old characters resurrected yeah, and go yeah. in and see. Weeks. I know, it would be quite strange, wouldn't it? Because you, you, you were very unsure about leaving, weren't you? I mean, you, you liked it a lot. Um, mm. It took me a long time to decide uh, whether I should leave because of the security and because mm. I had a home up there. And, you know, I was, I was you know, rather like yourselves, I thought it's time to leave yes. the north and come down. And, um, and are you happy see here? What happens. I like living down here very much, yeah. yes. Yeah. You know, it's maybe not as green as I would like, but uh, it's it's good. I'm very yeah. happy down you're, here. You're Irish in reality. Yes, yes. You see so. the accent coming out with mm. in, in Sam mm. Ryan. Yes. And you're you're brought up where? In just outside uh, Londonderry. Really? Mm. Yeah. You can hear when you start talking about yes. it. You can see hear your accent <laughs> start to sort of slip back. <clears throat> Listen, did you get a Valentine this morning? No, I didn't. Ah, did you, but did I you know. leave because before the post? No, no, because I, what I have to contend with on my Valentine's Day will be a jet-lagged husband. Oh, I see, he's away, is he? Yeah, he's oh. away. He's just coming into oh. land in about an hour's time. Oh. Yeah. Right, so we're do? told he's quite romantic. Oh, he is, yes. What's, he is what, what does he always sign himself when he writes little well, messages? No, what, what happened was a couple of, a few years ago, he, um, he sent a card and, and a bunch of flowers through a interfloor or whatever, one of those sort of telly things. Mm. And um, he wanted to say it's either madness or love because we were both living in different parts of the country and it was all very frenetic. So it was a long time ago, mm. it was about 10 years ago. And the florist wrote the message down wrongly and said, it's Ethel love. <laughs> <laughs> or madness. And that was the only bunch of flowers I'd got. And I thought, who is this person called <laughs> Ethel? And why hasn't Sven sent me a bunch of flowers? <laughs> so every year it. now I get a... I get a message from Ethel. <laughs> that reminds me <laughs> of, I, well, I once went to a wedding in Gretna Green between a Danish guy and, a, and an English girl. And when he got to the bit of the ceremony when he had to say, my lawful wedded wife, he actually said that I take her as my lovely wife. <laughs> he was like, ah, <laughs> no. And it was some good luck with it. Thank hope, you very hope, much. Hope the eight hours you. go really well. What time does it start? Is it, do you know? 9.30 tonight. 9.30 tonight. 9.30 tonight. Mm -hmm. On BBC One. Yeah. On BBC One. BBC One. Thank you. Okay, nice to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you. We've got some more Valentine's. It is time for another video Valentine.